Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitable Collections team. I am Sanjay. From this video session guys, we are going to create a new exciting playlist called Node Chase Package Startup Tutorial for Beginners. As this is first part, so inside this video, we will see some basic concepts. That is, what is Node Package, Development Steps, Creating Package.json File, as well as some bit of Package Code Settings. So inside online web tutor, this is not the first playlist of Node.js package development. Inside from this playlist, we also have a playlist of Node.js with MySQL APIs development. Inside that playlist, we had covered from beginners to advanced level concept. We also seen about the concept of Node.js application with MySQL APIs. So let's start about the first basic that is what is a node package. So if we go to the next tab, so here simply we have some bit small lines of code or actually statement which clears about a node package. So a package is a file or a directory that is described by a package.json file. As we had seen about or if you haven't watched about the playlist of Node.js with MySQL APIs, then I strongly suggest you to watch that playlist first. So for a Node.js application, package.json file is very important as it contains all the configurations about the application as well as the dependencies. So simply, a package is a file or a directory that is described by a package.json file. Simply, packages Node.js contains all the files that we need for a module. Inside our Node.js with MySQL APIs, we also seen about the deep concept of a module. Module is nothing, it's a JavaScript libraries that we include in our project. So simply to make a module, all the files that we need, all these files basically contains or make a package. So package is a collection of files or simply a directory that develop a module. So inside node applications, we have three types of modules. First about core module. Core module means the default modules provided by Node.js platform. In the second, about user-defined modules. In our node application, in some cases, we want our own custom modules. And the third, that is third-party modules. Third-party modules all, always installed by using NPM. It stands for Node Package Manager. So inside this playlist, we are going to define about third-party module. So basically, NPM is a package manager for Node.js packages. If we want to operate with any Node.js package, then we have to go with NPM. This is the official website called www.npmjs.com, which hosts thousands of free packages to download and use inside our Node.js applications. So NPM program is basically installed on our system when we install Node.js. So anyone asks suppose that what basically or where NPM package should install. So when we install Node.js inside our system then by default while installation of Node.js NPM comes in our system. So these all lines basically actually gives a bit concept about Node.js package. Let's see about what are the development steps that we have to follow to make a Node.js package. So if we go to the next step, so in the first step that is Node installation. As we know that the modules or the packages we are going to create is basically for a Node application. So we need Node installation in our system. So right now if you have no idea about that how can we install node in our system so we have a video for that so if we back to chrome browser now go to our youtube channel now inside this this is the playlist actually what i am talking about so inside this playlist we also we can see about some basic concepts to advanced concept in node chase with mysql apis 
Inside this playlist, we also covered about Xpress.js Wave Application Framework. So back to slides. So in the first part, we need node installation. In the second part, we will create a package.json file. Package.json file is the main configuration files for a node application. In the third step, we will see about package code settings. That is what we are going to publish inside npmjs.com. In the fourth step, we want a npm user account. In the fifth step, finally we are going to publish our third party node package inside npmjs. So inside this whole playlist, we are going to create a node.js package which will, we will install inside any node application via npm command. As inside these videos, we had seen about that if we want to install any package then npm install save dependency and here we have provided about let's say package name. This is all about package name. So let's say that if we want to install let's say notmon or mysql, so we have the command called npm install save let's say mysql. Also npm install save dependency and this is for the nodemon. So my, here mysql and nodemon is nothing, it's a package. So we are going to develop sub, such packages inside this playlist. So if we back to Chrome browser, now this is the site actually where we will publish our package. Let if we search about let's say MySQL. So while tapping MySQL and pressing enter, now this is the MySQL what we had installed as a package. Also if we search about Nodemon, pressing enter. Now this is all about Nodemon package. So we are going to create a Node.js package and publish inside this so that we can install via npm command and install inside any Node.js application. So let's start about the development steps of a Node.js package. So if I back to directory structure, now here is the folder called npm.js what we have created. Now inside this, let's say that first we are going to create let's say hello world package. So this is npm hello world. So I am going to make npm.js and this is hello world. So now this is our project folder name. Inside this, if I copy the folder path back to terminal and firstly go inside this folder. Right now we are inside this folder structure. If I type ls, so inside this directory we have currently no files. So in the first step we are going to create our package.json file. So before that if we need to verify our node version so simply node hyphen v. Now this will give about the version what we have installed in my system. So after node.js Let's create about npm init. Now we are ready to create our package.json file. Now npm init, if I press enter, simply it will ask few questions to create a package.json file. So the first that is package name. So let's say that we are going to make something npm chase. Let's say hello world. And simply let's say online web tutor so it should be OWD hub and if suppose we don't pass any name here if we press enter then by default it will take this is as a package name so if I press enter now version it's okay description so let's say this is sample node.js package which we are going to Publish inside npm.js repository. So if I press enter, entry point, it means that we have to make after package.json, this is our first file. So pressing enter, test command, pressing enter, we have right now no GitHub repository for this package. Keywords, let's npm package. 
and also let's say that this is our test hello world package and let's online web tutor first npm test package now pressing enter author let's say online web tutor pressing enter license pressing enter and all the informations actually what we have provided here is okay so pressing yes and it has now created a file called package.json so let me clear the screen pressing ls and as we can see that we have now one file that is package.json so if we back to folder structure now this is our file and if we open this folder to our atom editor so open into atom now if we close the these tabs and here is our package.json file inside this what we have provided basically all the informations about package.json also if i back to folder structure let's create another something called test package and if we copy the folder structure back to terminal let's say cd right now we are inside test package and let's say that if we type npm in need simply it will ask few questions and create package.json file but let's say that we are not interested to go all those questions and create package.json file so if we want to escape all the steps so simply we need to write npm init hyphen y it will create automatically the default package.json file for a node application so pressing enter now we can see that automatically it has created a package.json file with all default settings so back to atom editor now this is our package.json file and as we know that we need to create our index.js file because this is our entry file so let's say index.js so instead of atom editor actually now we are going to open our folder structure inside visual code now this is the best editor for node application development or any of the javascript framework development so let's open that so right now we have two files first about package.json and the second something index.js file now this is our entry file so here we are going to define package code so simply guys this is our first video so inside this video we had covered about the basic concepts so in the next video we will see that what basically the code structure we have to follow to make our npm package and also we will try to publish inside that video to this npm repository so remember before that we need our npm account so if we click on sign up button so we can easily register here by filling all these informations here so remember to publish any npm package inside this npmjs.com we need a npm account after creating account from this wizard basically it will means pass or send a confirmation mail to this provided email address by providing this email address we need to confirm our email address or verify our email account to publish any npm package inside this npmjs.com so behind the scene you must try to create your account inside this npmjs.com because in the next video we will try to create our npm account via terminal because we have some commands by the help of those commands actually we can also create npm user account so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day